Why don't we have a big home-cooked dinner tonight? You know, something special. You want balloons or something? No, I don't want balloons or something. I'm just saying something nice. When don't I make it nice? Make something nicer! Make it yourself! The great communicator. Uh, before we go out, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Joycey, for this uh, special dinner that she prepared. And I'd like to welcome Tony to our table. So, Vince tells me that he was friends with your mother. A long time ago, I guess. I guess so, because I never heard about it. Oh, here we go. I mean, you know, I, you read it, and it, it you're laughing out loud to yourself as you're reading it. And uh, for me, it was just... You're just not getting in the way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just kind of existing and being honest to the text because it's just, it was so well written. Raymond's so talented as a writer and a director. He's, it was awesome. Yeah, it just grabs you immediately. Oh, I think I'm pissed off at you, but I don't know why. Do I got a reason? You said that? Shut up, I'm talking to you. Okay. Every, you know, it, it's just that first moment and everyone's clicking. And you're like, oh, this is the way it's going to be, you know. And it, the chemistry was just so good, and everyone involved was so awesome. And we just had a blast, and we had a great time doing it. And I think it shows in the movie, you know. We just had a really good time working with such great stuff. Dad's right. Why, why don't we just be up front here? Come out with it. Just ask him if he had sex with this woman. Vince, oh, I apologize yeah, I that, That's right. We're, that's my brain tumor. Well, he does have a point, sweetie. I mean, uh... All due respect, it is what you were getting at. I mean, even though you were you were kind of you were kind of circling the airport. I don't <laughs> care if you had sex with her or not. Why are you two ganging up on me? Uh, come on, Joyce. You know, after twenty years, I know where you're going before even you do. Well, that must be very boring for you, Vince. Really? Who knew that I was failing to keep you entertained oh, all these? It was just ridiculous. I mean, it, it, the the banter. I, it it's it's great, and just like the. The, th the thought that the inmate who just got out of jail is the only one with the head on his shoulders. And it's like, he's the one who finds this bizarre. And he just got out of prison. Uh, it, it's awesome. I, I had such, such a blast. But I mean, there were moments of just on set where like, you just had to hide the fact that you know, you're about to break out into complete and utter laughter. It was just awesome. My husband thinks I quit. One good thing about the joint, they don't let you smoke anymore, so I quit inside. Being in prison and not being able to smoke? That's like being in jail. Amazing. She's amazing. She, um, and she's just so generous as an actor, you know, and as a person as well. I mean, but just talking solely about working with her, like in a scene, she gives so much. I mean, even, even when she's not on camera, she's... She's there giving you everything that you need for your own coverage and um, and she's, you know, an awesome person and so sweet and super smart and funny and um, yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing to work with. She brings out the best in everyone that she works with. Yeah. The heart of the, f the film is is that it just got so much heart, you know, it's like, and, that, and that's the thing, it's like the, the, there's, a, there's a universal nature to the fact that these characters are just so flawed and at the end of the day, it, you still really like them, and um, because they're human, you know, it's like we're all that way. We're all flawed, and it's um, it's just nice to, to laugh about it, you know. Hey, sweetheart, how's my future college grad? You're on. My wife thinks that I got a poker game tonight. Instead of telling her you've been roped to the next in class. My name is Vince Rizzo. <sighs> And I'm from City Island. No more pauses. Think of the privacy of your own home. Otherwise, we're class. Hello? Where are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I'm, I'm at work. I'm here for the movie audition. Back of the line. Whenever you're ready. It's like, it, 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 uh... I'm sorry. Are you doing a Marlon Brando impression? There's so much going on. Everyone's doing something. And it all comes out. It all comes out in the wash, you know. You lie. You bring your books? Start that. I'm concerned about your education. Start that! I met my son in the facility where I work. Have you ever told your wife about him? That's out of the question. Good times ahead. Nothing but good, sweet, breezy times. Oh! 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 There was 
What's that you're wearing? You go to college. Oh, you got that scholarship. They took it away. Oh, sweet. It was incre incredibly gratifying for me. I, um, yeah, one of the more gratifying experiences I think I have ever, I've ever had. Okay, Vivian, I've got to ask you. Are your breasts continuing to grow? <clears throat> what, Vince? Why? Does have a point there, sweetie. I mean, do seem to be getting a little larger oh, in that area. Nice, Dad. I'm, I'm looking at a few things. I haven't, I haven't really quite decided yet. But... Anything back in the action genre? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Will there be a costume of some kind? <laughs> right. Like <laughs> Possibly a shirt, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> which, which would be fantastic. <laughs>